Hi people, welcome back to the tutorial on how to hack Metasploitable 2. Um, I hope you're enjoying the tutorial so far. I'm very, very excited about this latest episode. Today we're going to look at port 8180. Apache Tomcat appears to be the service running on it. Um, a quick heads up, what is it? Um, Apache Tomcat provides a pure Java HTTP web server environment in which Java code can be run. Um, it does it by supporting the Java servlet lifecycle that are init, service, and destroy phases. It is the preferred web server software for Java imp implementation. Um, the service can suggest that Apache Tomcat is running on this port 8180. This is not always the case. Uh, Tomcat runs by default on port number 8080 on your computer. And quite often you're likely to get conflict if there's another service running on the same port. The good thing about Apache Tomcat is it can be configured to run multiple web applications on different ports. For example, it could be running free application on, say for example, 8080, 8080819090 port number. The best way to change the port number for your Tomcat server is by um, changing it in the configuration file. Before I go any further, um, what do you think could be a likely issue here? You can pause the video and come back. Um, if you thought about this configuration, then you are closer to the answer. Why? Because we're dealing with a web server. As always, our methodology remains the same here as we're going to use the Metasploit framework to attack the Tomcat server by brute forcing the Tomcat login. So if we open a browser here and type in um, the address of our made exploitable machine and uh, append or fix um, the, the port number. Um, we can actually see that it reveals the version of our Tomcat server. Uh, on, the upper, on the upper left here, you can actually see what the version is, um, Tomcat 5.5. .5. So uh, with that piece of information, uh, we, can, uh, we can fire up Metasploits and I've already got it going here, so the procedure is the same. So you make sure that you get your PostgreSQL database up and running, um, because that will speed up the the, um, the, the module searches in Metasploit. And, uh, and then you type in MSF console, and then you get the shell. Um, we can start off by searching for the identified um, Tomcat version. As you can see, Metasploit has an exploit for this version of Tomcat called the Tomcat Manager Uploads, uh, which uh, address issues of uh, authenticated upload code executions. Um, we can actually use that to get a Metapreter session. Um, what this exploit does, it uses a default credential um, used by Tomcat to gain access. Well, you can find out about the default credential for com uh, for Tomcat by just doing some sort of um, online research. And if we go, if we bring up a term, um, a browser here, um, I've got this um, GitHub page where you can actually see um, potential candidate credentials for Apache Tomcat. So you can actually use Hydra or any password cracking tools or credential tools, or perhaps use it as a user file and password in order to attempt uh, um, a compromise. So let's go back to Metasploit. Right, and uh, what we're gonna do is just to use the exploit that we just identified. Then uh, we can just use the number six. And uh, we can find out what the options are as always. Right, so we need some configuration here. So we need to set the remote host. So that's the first things first. And the remote port um, is not the right one, so let's set it as well. And uh, we're going to be setting, uh, because we know the, the what the username and passwords are, so we might as well just go ahead and, and set them. Do the same thing for the, the password as well. All 
Right, so we can confirm what the options are. Right, so everything has been configured, so we don't need to do some sort of proxy chaining. So let's just run our exploits. Boom, we have a shell, so we can actually remotely uh, control the, 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 the remote machine. So um, what we can do to confirm whether that's the case, we can use or try the following command, sysinfo. Um, it confirms that yes, and uh, these are the, uh, the information for the remote machine and try to find out what the user ID is here. Okay, so it's um, so clearly it's, it's, it's just a Tomcat user and uh, user details. Um, right now, it, it does suggest that we've got um, fairly limited privileges, and um, quite often in any sort of pen testing engagement, and the next step would be to um, carry out some sort of vertical movement to elevate your privilege and get root access. So uh, we're not going to do it for for this tutorial. Or we can try the long list as well. Okay, so clearly we've uh, we've got um, access to the remote machine. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It is done now, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.